the Brabos G900 Deep Blue. That's how you close a G. Brutal and dominant as possible. Just look at the front. Just look at this. Brabos made this G look so special. Hello guys, I am back today welcoming you all with this. Right in front of us we have a Brabus G900. But as you can already see, this is not a normal one. This is the Brabus G900 Deep Blue Edition. As Brabus has launched the Brabus Marine Shadow 900 in Deep Blue and with that also a Panerai collaboration submersible as Brabus Edition in Deep Blue, now it's time for Brabus to show us the deep blue G as a final statement. And here we have it, guys. In today's video, I will give you a full tour of the exterior. Afterwards, we'll check out the special masterpiece interior of this G900. And last but not least, we will be listening to the sound. So let me talk you through. Base for this is the AMG G63. What Brabus has done is they've made it wider. We have more performance. Base engine is the 585 horsepower, four liter V8 bi-turbo AMG engine. But Brabus has also modified and Brabus sized this engine by extending the displacement. We have a 4.5 liter V8 bi-turbo now producing 900 horsepower, 1,250 newton meters of torque. As I mentioned, the car is way wider as we have the wide body kit installed on this. We have new wheels. The paint is by Brabus, is the deep blue paint work in the inside we have a lot of changes so let's get on and let me talk you through we will be starting with the front with the front we have this additional extension of the bonnet full finished in carbon fiber made by brabos the grill here we have a grill frame finished in carbon fiber as well the full grill itself is finished in black gloss the so-called panamericana grill front brabos badge is uh, illuminated in blue here really cool also here's some brabos additional details we have the signature stripes, you also finished in blue. Can you see that? It's pretty cool. In addition to that, Brabo's front bumper to make the G as brutal and dominant as possible. Just look at the front. Uh, we have a few additional lights by Brabo's. You can see the first one here on top and on the bottom here, we have this additional Bravos LED. Front lip also finished in carbon fiber and the entire body looking so nice. Also the indicator is tinted on this one. Talking about the side, here you can appreciate the deep blue paintwork. Sometimes you, from like, when you step a bit back, you would say it's a black car, but as soon as you step a bit closer and also in the sun, it looks so fantastic. The deep blue exterior paint is just absolutely beautiful and I love it. We have the white body kit installed on this, a lot of carbon fiber parts and the biggest wheel options you can get for a Brabus G, 24 inches, Brabus steel brakes in addition to that. Just look on the, on the size of the wheel and then the brakes and make it look so small, 24 inches on these. On the side here again, fenders finished in carbon fiber, Brabus additional details, by turbo 900 badge finished in deep blue and the entire bodywork is just absolutely stunning. I love this a lot. The color is just so good looking. And let me also show you the exhaust tips these are the, the ones we know from the rocket edition also available for the 900 deep blue edition i really like it even here on the step board this is finished in blue we have some additional carbon fiber parts even the door handles here are finished in carbon fiber here you can see white body kit installed we have 24 inches again in the back full finished in black gloss as soon as i also open up the door we have the brabos light here really cool i love that a lot you have the lights here on the front and also on the back closing the door it's not closed yet that's how you close the g and now let's talk about the rear and here we have it the brabos g900 deep blue the color i wasn't really sure when i saw the pictures but in full flesh it looks so good i really like it a lot it's literally very deep shade of blue and it looks so gorgeous on the G. On top we have the Brabus additional rear spoiler. We don't have the roof light on top of this G, but I think it's an option. The spare tire cover is also finished in blue and then also carbon fiber trim overall. We have the 900 badge here finished in carbon fiber and the surrounding in blue. The door handle here again, carbon fiber, full carbon fiber here. Lovely. And the Brabus badge 
as well, carbon fiber with the blue surroundings, looking fantastic. How do you guys like it? And now it's time to talk about the inside. Just look at this. I'm honest with you guys, I am in love. Bravos made this G look so special. Wow, there's literally not even one single part left from the factory, I think. I mean, the base of this is obviously the G63 interior with the seats as well, but they've completely stripped out the entire interior and rechanged it. I love the way they did it. We have a very nice gray tone here with a lot of carbon fiber additional parts. And then we have these additional parts finished. Also nice deep blow finish. Normally these parts are finished in chrome. The seats here in gray again with the nice details with the Brabos masterpiece badge with the Brabos double B here on the headrest. The steering wheel looks so good, guys. Let me just jump inside entrance board carbon fiber illuminated also the floor mats they've changed them finally not full leather now the the part where you normally put your shoes is now finished in like normal floor mat material the gas and brake pedals are also finished in blue and even down here you can see all the leather parts and details i love the attention to detail here at brabos jumping right inside closing the door for you so i have to say one thing brabos has made an amazing job here i wish it would say brabos instead just press this button again. We have the steering wheel buttons coming alive. We have a beautiful interior. Whoever chose the colors for this is a genius. I like it a lot because normally when Brabus goes for black leather, the problem with these is that you can't really spot all the details on the car because the black leather is so dark. With the gray option they have here, it's so good. We have an amazing contrast in addition with the blue finishing details. Also here with the carbon fiber, it looks so good. Just look at the attention to detail. We have leather here, then we have leather in between. We have contrast stitching. We have this detailing perforation here. As soon as you also have a closer look, you can see that the perforation is also, it's the, the, the hole is not in the same size. It always grows, a very nice transition. We have the carbon fiber parts, all these parts, imagine there are plus 200 parts in the inside from this small button here to the Mercedes-Benz star, the steering wheel frame, all the buttons, they strip them out, repaint them and put them back on. It's just so much work. And also in the inside, very cool feature. We have the Panerai watch as Brabus is collaborating with Panerai. Yeah, some Brabus additional details. Gorgeous. I love the steering wheel the most. We have the top and bottom finished in carbon fiber, steering wheel frame in blue. We have the additional steering wheel buttons. Everything looking super fancy in my eyes. On top, we have the roof finished in Alcantara, but gray to match with the seats. You see, the, even these are looking so good. I love this a lot. How do you guys like the inside of this G900 Deep Blue? And now it's actually time to put the windows down and start up and listen to the sound. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Wow. The lion is awake. We woke up the Bravo's beast. Now listen to this. Amazing sound. I love the Brabus exhaust and the sound of this. Oh, amazing. Let's just jump outside and also listen to the sound from the outside. Let's go. So now it's time to listen up to the sound of this G900 Deep Blue from the outside, also with the nice illuminated exhaust tips here. We have the exhaust thing on both sides, these being the Brabus exhaust. Guys, listen up. The sound is so good. It's like gunshots coming from both sides because we have the side pipes coming from left and from the right side. The sound is so good. How do you guys like it? Leave it in the comment section below. Would you guys like to see a drive with this? Maybe on the Autobahn? Wow, oh, the sound would be crazy. Rate it from one to 10 in the comment section below.